Welcome to Tech Guy channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you two ways on how to make a bootable USB Windows 7 installation disk. The first option is to create a bootable disk using Windows tools which requires no additional software. And the second option is to use some application which is downloadable from internet. In this tutorial, I will use any burn, this is a far simpler solution. Without an optical drive on the target computer, installing Windows 7 as your preferred operating system is impossible. But if you have the original installation media and a 4GB USB flash drive or larger, you can make it work. The following steps can be completed on a Windows 7 computer. However they're almost the same whatever operating system you're using, including Windows 10. In this video, I am using Windows 10. Let's begin with the first option using command prompt. Insert your USB flash drive into your computer. In this tutorial, I am using 14 GB USB drive. You can see that drive E is 14.8 GB. Take a note on this. Now, type CMD in the search box, then right click and click run as administrator. Type the command disk part to open the partitioning tool. Next is type list disk. This will list all disks attached to your PC. One of the drives listed will be your USB drive. You'll probably be able to spot it based on the drive's capacity. Make a note of the disk number of the USB drive. This is very important to get right, otherwise you'll end up losing data on other drives. In this case, our USB is in disk 1 basing from the capacity. Now, type select disk 1 then press enter. After this, you will see the notification saying that disk X is now the selected disk. Then type clean, after this you will see a successful response saying that disk part succeeded in cleaning the disk. After the drive is cleaned, we need to format the USB flash driver by typing the following command. First type create partition primary, then press enter. Then type select partition 1, then press enter. Then type active, then press enter to make the partition active. Now type format fs equals ntfs quick, then press enter to format as ntfs. Finally, type exit to exit the disk part tool. The USB flash drive is now ready for Windows 7 installation files. Just open the installation media and copy it across to the USB drive. In this video I am copying from my mobile phone to the USB. Now our USB is ready for Windows 7 installation. Now let's go to the second option using the AnyBurn tool. AnyBurn is a lightweight but professional CD, DVD, and or Blu-ray burning software. AnyBurn also can easily create Windows XP, 7, 8 and 10 bootable USB drive, thus you can set up Windows XP or higher version without CD or DVD drive. To begin, let's first download the tool. Just type any burn in your browser. From this time of recording, the latest version for this application is 5.0. Now select according to the operating system where you install the app. In my case, I will select 64 bits. Then click save to download it. Now let's open it on the download folder. Double click it to open. Then select agree, then select install. Now installation is done. Just click close to exit. After closing this, the apps will automatically open. Now, let's select create bootable USB drive. To show you the location of our iOS, I saved it here in the desktop with the folder ISO. Going back to our AnyBurn app, just click here in the small folder logo to locate for our iOS. Here in the right method and file system just leave the default settings. In the destination, you can see here that USB drive is blank or it doesn't detect any USB drive. Now I will insert my 4GB USB drive. And now it's detected with the 4GB capacity indicated. To check in the my computer, it shows here that it has some file saved in it. 
Take note, once you start creating bootable USB, all of these files will be deleted. Going back to any burn app, click next to create bootable USB drive. Just after pressing next, it will issue a notification all data in the USB will be overwritten. Do you want to continue? Just press OK to continue. This will take time, and once this bar reach 100%, your USB drive is no ready for Windows 7 installation. If you received no errors occurred, you should now be all set to set up Windows 7 from USB drive. This covers how to create bootable USB drive for Windows 7. If you found this tutorial is helpful, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel for more great tutorials. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.